Hi, this is Shirley, the Herb Lady. I am so happy to learn all the information I've, I learned about this. Because my mom used to, I don't, don't know where the sage, it's sage, S-A-G-E. Uh, we used to have it in the back uh, backyard of one of our rented houses. Because it somebody planted it before we got there. And we've been on the property, my brother's still on the property. And, and I was there when I was five, so it's been 72 years they, we've been on that property. But every Thanksgiving, she would send Danny out there to pick the sage. And as soon as I, I would be set, sound asleep, and she'd get up real early to fix the turkey and the, uh, ah, and the dressing. And anyway, um, <laughs> and she'd put sage in it. And as soon as I could smell that sage, I was in there. And it, and she said, you want to taste that? And I'm not, I have never forgot it. I could never get too much sage. And when I read about what sage does, I must have been lacking a lot of it in my body. Because even today, uh, some of my children say I put too much sage in, but I crave it. And after you read what it does, everybody should be craving it. I mean, sage is just, it's, a, it's amazing herb. I, well, I, I think every herb is amazing. But this, and as r most people don't even know about it, I sell this one lady comes in and she must have did her homework and she buys it for me all the time. But most people has never asked for sage. Sage is an ancient cure-all. I think almost every one of these herbs that I've taught about, there's so many things that it cures. And all you gotta do is just keep taking it. And the ancient Latin uh, proverb goes, why should a man die when sage grows in his garden? Now, isn't that a hoot? Why should a man die when sage grows in his garden? They says that sage will give you long life. The name sage was thought to refer to being wise as a person who took it every day was wise. Sage uh, tea clears the eyes, makes them real clear. Uh, the Greek herbalist taught it cleanses the body of disease and reduces strain on the heart. And I know I've, I watch a lot of Indian shows and the Indians always put sage in their in their teepee, and they would go get sage and sprinkle around, and you know, and breathe it in. And after I read about this, I went, "Oh, how smart they was!" I mean, we just never did anything like this. Even the aroma kills germs in the air upon contact. Just the aroma of sage. Sage is said to be taken in the packs of the Roman soldier as they conquered their way through Europe. Every Roman soldier had sage in their pack. And if they didn't feel good, they made the tea out of it. Or, or a lot of times they put it in their mouth, they chewed it. I mean, they just kept on going. And you gotta remember back then, there wasn't no doctors or anything. If you didn't take care of yourself, you just dropped dead. Uh, sage was thought to cure grief in the olden times. Uh, Samuel Pepys in his diary noted that there in the churchyards, there was sage planted all the way around them to help the grieving and the and mourners. Even today in France, the herb is thought to help with grief. A French proverb goes, sage helps the nerves and by it, powerful might, palsy is cured and fever put to flight. In China, it was considered uh, one of the protective herbs that people should eat every day to continue good health. Uh, in India, a king uh, built a hospital for his people, built another hospital for the animals, and then he purchased miles and miles and miles of acreage for growing herbs, and one of the very first he planted was sage. And I mean, when do we do all this planting and helping people? I mean, it's just amazing what they did. Sage is good for the head and the brain, and it quickens the sense and memory to strengthen the sinew uh, accuses palsy, and you snuff it to draw the phlegm from the, from the head. French herbalists said that sage would cure any illness when eaten. Uh, Longham reported that sage cleansed the blood, brings speech to someone who is dumb, and removes rottenness and soreness of teeth. Sage is good for disease of the liver and good for making blood. It would stop wounds from bleeding and clean ulcers and sores. Two different herbalists said sage causes the hair to become 
black. Uh, it would help headaches related to rheumatism as well as pain in the joints. In England, the Romans brought it back first to the monks, uh, to their private garden, and people took it serious. And they would take the herb for long life. Many of the old people ascribed their long life and good health to sage tea in the spring and in the autumn. Sage is a good remedy for drying up milk. Uh, the mother should nurse her baby to around 18 months until the eye teeth. When the eye teeth comes in, that's when the baby's got enough uh, high chloric acid to digest the food. If you feed it before food, it, it gets um, runny noses and, and they just don't digest the food. That's why they need enzymes and all that stuff. But I knew it dried up the milk because I had other ladies that uh, they maybe had to have an operation or something and they had to dry their milk up. And I told them to take sage and it dried it up just like that. Um, it will also work on animals at the same time if the animals have to uh, go through that. Sage works to reduce perspiration. It's used to instead by itself. Don't mix it with another herb when you're trying because a lot of people have night sweats. And I had one guy that came in that had night sweats and we helped him a lot with sage because it just kind of cools it down. Drinking sage and peppermint tea, two cups for three months, helps kidney infection. And this one lady had uh, always had kidney infection. It never returned after she did that. Using, uh, using it for kidney and removes gravel formation. Now to stuff your turkey, you take one cup, one half cup of onions, one cup of celery, one, one and one half cup of turkey broth, one tablespoon of sage. I would put three tablespoons of sage or four. I mean, that's how much I love sage. And one teaspoon of pepper and a pound of breadcrumbs and one cup of butter. And you brown the onions and celery in the butter and put all the uh, dry ingredients together and, and stuff the turkey. And I, I just used to just love that. But you can also, what well, we used to have a lot of uh, moose meat. wild meat, the hamburger for moose sometimes was a little bit wild. And I would put sage in it and then make patties and it would taste like sausage. And it was moose meat and sage. And it really tasted, and sometimes onion with it. It really came out good. I mean, my husband, he really liked it. Uh, and the historical use is it clears the eyes, it cleans the body of disease, it reduces the strain on the heart. It helps with kidney trouble. Um, it helps uh, your hair to turn to a normal color. It helps with a cough. It helps with rheumatism, sore throats. Uh, it removes rottenness and soreness of teeth. It helps with fevers and grief, nerves. It quickens your sense, memory. It stops miscarriages. Uh, it helps with nervous disease, depression, and trembling hands. And I, have even young people come in here with trembling hands. So I would say they need to take a cup of sage tea. Um, Anti-baldness, sunburns, pimples, uh, night, sweat, night sweats, and detoxifier. In German, a woman dropped a handful of sage in a cup of cold water and boiled it for 15 minutes. She cooled it down, and then she applied it to her hair. The longer that it was brewed uh, and, and cooled down, the intents of the color was stronger. And the tea was also internally, and her hair was shiny black. Okay, in Mexico, Mexican, they make brushes out of sage. And they, they uh, take the branches of the herb and they use it to dry off the sweaty bodies of the horses and of the cattle. And it absorbs the sweat and it gives them energy afterwards. And uh, they've been doing that for lots of years. And this one I did not know about. Smoking like a cigarette, sage can be used to relieve asthma. What I would do is um, I would uh, put sage in steaming hot water and put, my, put a pill, put a towel over my head and breathe it in if I had asthma. But sage also helps, and it helps with Parkinson's disease, anything with the nervous system. It helps depression, anxiety, confusion in older people. It stimulates the brain. It provides digestion and promotes circulation. The tea reduces hot flashes. 
And if you use it for a wrench, it helps with dandruff to eliminate gray hair and restores natural hair color. Now, if you see a gold nugget and that's something that you learned or something more that you know, let me know about it. Thanks. Bye.